Greetings, Cal Universe here. And I am Skeletor, master of the universe. Well, I'd like to be. Yes, Skeletor, we all like to strive to be better than what we are. And Skeletor, what did you think of that last game we played? You mean Luna EXE? It was very anticlimactic. Yes, it was. Well, we got a new game here. It's called Hello. That's kind of interesting. I thought it was a little different, so let's see what this is about. Okay, so, game must be played at night in a quiet room and dark room. Oops, I got ahead of myself in my sentence there. In a quiet and dark room with headphones. It's important. Got my headphones. It's quiet, all except for you, Skeletor. I am never quiet. Everyone must hear me at all times. Okay, well, let's just start this. You have one new message from Natas? Click here to open. Who in the world is Natas? I have no idea. Hello. Hi! Okay. Uh, I am here to help you. But before we begin, I want to ask you a few questions. Ask away! I am an open book! As am I, Skeletor, as am I. Be honest and think long before answering each question. Are you alone? No, universe! You have me, Skeletor, lord of all that is evil! No, no, I'm not alone. I got Skeletor. Do you hear any sounds? Only Skeletor! Hey! You love to hear my Gilbert Gottfried going through a sand grinder voice! <laughs> it's a nice analogy there, Skeletor. Ah, oh, I thank you! So yes, I do hear sounds. I hear Skeletor's voice. Are the lights turned off? You know, if I turn the lights off, you're not going to be able to see me that well, so I'm just going to say no. Have you locked all the doors in your house? I always do. Do you sometimes feel scared? You never feel scared, Jennifer. Yes, I do. Okay, we all feel scared, Skeletor. I know you do whenever He-Man's running at you. He-Man? Is he here? No, you're good. So yes, we both feel scared. Would you be scared if I told you that I'm somewhere in your house right now? Absolutely not. The more the merrier. If you're out there, you better not be an encyclopedia salesman. I already paid for the last five years. They change all the time. Um, no. No, I would not. Oh, that's creepy. It's like it just kind of started this eerie music. I mean, not eerie, but just this kind of slow hum. Would you go and check? Better go do it, universe. All right, I'll be right back. I'll say yes. Would you go and check yourself? Yes, I will. Be right back. Hey, Skeletor, can you entertain the people while I'm gone? Absolutely, universe. Let's see. Now, how many of you here are from out of town tonight? Oh, what am I thinking? It's the internet. You are all probably out of town. <laughs> Anybody want to hear a knock-knock joke? They are really saucy. Thought I heard something over here. Wait, what was that? Guess it was nothing. Ugh, better get back down to my show. Who knows what Skeletor is doing. And now I will begin reading my own poetry. There once was a woman from Brazil who every night she would turn ill. She'd roll in the grass and tickle her... Okay, I'm back. 
I didn't find anything. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say tickle her ass. Skeletor, that sounds so weird out of context. Ah, oh, you had to be there. Hmm. Okay. So, do you think I'm coming? Not if you want to keep your G-rating. Oh, Skeletor. Ha, ha, ha. No, I do not think you're coming. Do your parents know what you are doing? I certainly hope not. Do you eat often? I am a fat guy. Yes, absolutely. Do you know that girl standing in the corner over there? Good God, Universe! Isn't that Barbara Streisand again? I thought you got a restraining order for her. I did. Computer, beam Barbara Streisand away. Problem solved. Do you know that girl? St oh, wait. So, yes, I do know that girl standing over there. She's gone now. Do you hear her breathe? Nope. I beamed her away. Do you really know where you are right now? Wow, that's a really deep question. How many of us really know where we are right now? Well, I think I know I'm in my house. But I am in your computer, He-Man. I mean, Kyle Universe. <laughs> so, yes. That computer you're using looks to be an unknown version. I got it from Best Buy. Yes, I see you. Do you see me? Do you see anything, Skeletor? Other than the fact that you're not wearing pants. They can't see my lower half anyway, so it's okay. So no, I do not see you. Can I come closer? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a party. Ain't no party like a pantsless party like a pantsless party. Never mind. We will meet later tonight, right? Yeah, sure, why not? One last question before I'll help you. Would you save him if he should crawl out of the sewers? What kind of kooky stuff are you into, universe? Uh, no comment. Yes. And then it just stops. It goes right back to... That's weird. It's like, that's the end of the game. Well, that was... Well, it wasn't as anticlimactic as Luna EXE, but... That wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't really a game, but, you know. Yeah, that's that last question, that's kind of interesting. It's, it's almost like this game was made in hopes that the creator of the game would want to get that 1% person who may have, like, killed someone and thrown them into a sewer and just, like, wants to play on their guilty conscience. That's what it seems like is what they were getting at with that. That's weird. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, thank you for uh, joining me for this interesting video called Hello. If you'd like to try it, I'll put a link in the description, which is just basically text, but, you know, whatever. So, I'm Kyle Universe, and I'm Skeletor, Master of Evil, and see you out there. No, no spur